there's anything. That's a fish. That's a good fish too. Okay. Look at that. Hold on. Here we go, guys. They're in that same, see, hook just popped out. They're in that same corner. It's a good fish. He is fat, man. I don't know if you guys can see that, but he is pretty fat. They're feeding up. It's a good feeling. It's a really good feeling. Okay, so the camera um, umbrella is set up now. It's not gonna mess up my shot too much. I mean, I'm gonna have to squat down to see you guys, but you guys can see me perfectly. It doesn't affect anything that's happening. So now that that camera's waterproof, I gotta put the waterproof housing on my GoPro and then get back to fishing. Okay guys, I'm gonna try something. I'm tying on a weightless fluke. I'm gonna skip it across the top to imitate these um these fry that these bass are chasing. Guys, there he is. Don't let him go. That's awesome. Hopefully, I figured out something. You guys see it? 
go guys, he's a little one, but still fish. So I'm throwing a, a weedless, darker colored fluke. Okay guys, so there's two different ways that you can really rig a fluke um, with a weedless hook. And the main way that I do it is in through the head, out. So in and out like that, feed it through, feed it through the bottom or the top, however you want to look at it. Feed it through like this, right? Bend it over, hook it through the stomach, up to the top, and then rig it weedless. You guys can see that, that hook is buried, it's not gonna get caught up on anything, and the hook is in the belly. That is how I always, like that's how I always rig a fluke, period, that's always how I rig my flukes. Now some people do it the opposite way. Take the hook out. So you go through the top, but you come out the back. So you come out like this, right? They rig the hook through. They turn it around so that the belly is facing upwards and then you bring your hook through. You want to make it as centered as possible. So the hook is like this. It's kind of upside down looking and then in between here is where your hook is and you don't have to um, pinch that through. It's weedless as you guys can see but when the fish eats this it just pops up like that. That's how um, some people rig it. I don't rig it like this. I rig it the other way. But for now, this is how I'm rigging it because there's so much stuff where I'm fishing and in the environment that I'm fishing. So I'm having it the other way. And I lost one or two fish already, but I caught two fish. So it does work. Um, and that's how you can rig your flukes.